Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read and today we're gonna do book quizzes. So I've seen a couple people do this where they take you along for the ride and do book quizzes together with you and so I thought it looked like a lot of fun and I'm gonna do it today. So I chose four different book quizzes from BuzzFeed that I'm going to try and we will see what answers I get and you guys can make fun of me if I don't know some of them or yeah, you can just make fun of me if you want because I feel like I'm going to get some pretty funny answers. Anyways, let's jump into it. So the first one I chose is called The Home Library You Build Will Reveal Your Autumn Aesthetic. Now I know it's not autumn, but... I just kind of want to see what kind of home library I can build in this quiz. So I'm going to do it and hopefully it's fun. And I'm really curious to know what my autumn aesthetic is. So yeah, let's see. So our first question is choose an overall feel. And then it has these four pictures of your ideal like book setup. Now immediately the first one is drawing me into that one because it has like a window, a bay window seat. And I love bay window seats. So I don't even think I need to like think about it here. I'm gonna check the first one just because like that's so pretty to me. It also has a beautiful view so I'm like yeah okay. So we're gonna choose that. All right so the next one is choose a bookshelf material. Oh okay so we got like obviously wood for wooden bookshelves but then we have like a marble. Marble for bookshelves. I never really thought of that, but like if you can afford a marble bookshelf, then you be you and you go for it. I feel like that's a very rich person thing though, and I'm not a rich person. So <laughs> there's wood and then there's like a lighter wood and then a darker wood. Now all our bookshelves that we have are like the dark wood, although like the dark brown wood, the first option I am really liking. And if I could have bookshelves like that, like homemade bookshelves made out of wood of that quality then I would definitely choose that but I mean we wanted to get all matching bookshelves so we chose like cheaper ones for the ones we actually own but this is my ideal one right so I'm going to choose the first one with the dark wood choose a bookshelf Ooh, I like the stairs bookshelf that's pretty cool I'm I don't like the first one immediately like no that's not it because that's just chaos <laughs> The second one is like a little bit too much like old library for me and I'm not really a big f like I like old libraries but like I, I wouldn't want that in my house if that makes sense and then yeah the third one just like seems like what I already have just in like a black color so I'm gonna choose the stairs one because that like that's intriguing to me I like that choose some lighting Ooh, okay so we got the fairy lights we got some basic lamps we have a chandelier, which I don't know how good that is for lighting of a bookshelf. And then we got these really cool like metallic ones with the open shades. And I am personally a big fan of those. I think they look so nice. I don't know how they look around a bookshelf though. That's the question. The fairy lights would definitely light up the bookshelves a lot. I'm still gonna choose the metal rimmed ones. I just like that style. Choose some comfy seating. <laughs> Okay, this first couch looks like a literal sheep. <laughs> so, I mean, it would be comfortable. I don't really... Well, actually, this kind of chair, this, like, dark brown chair, is the type of chair that, you know, you'd, like, sit in it, like, sideways like this and have your feet up and, like, just chill. That's, like... That's kind of what I did growing up because we had a chair like that, except it was obviously not as fancy looking. <laughs> Um, I don't really like this one just because it doesn't look comfortable at all. And this one is very Victorian style and I don't think that's like my style. <sighs> so it's a toss up between the first two. Do I go for comfort or like seating geometry? <laughs> I think I'm going to go for comfort and just say the sheep one. Although if it's really like if you're really sweaty sitting on that, I think that would be really uncomfortable. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go for this one here. Choose a statement wall. Oh. Okay, well, I don't really like any of these <laughs> options, but I have to choose one. So, like, this one looks like fog. This one looks like Great Gatsby style. That one's just kind of like nice floral 
And then that's just dark black panel. I think I'm gonna go with the flowery one because like I would want it to be like bright and I don't know, just like not dark and dooming when you're going to your bookshelves. I want you to like think of happy things. So yeah, I'm gonna choose the flowery one. Choose a genre for your shelves. Fantasy, romance, self-help, or mystery. Okay, well, self-help, nope, you're out the window. Romance, nope, you're out the window. So fantasy or mystery. I really like thrillers, but mystery is kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like thriller, but not full thriller. I'm going to have to go with fantasy, because fantasy is actually like one of my top three genres. Even though I, I feel like I'm more of like a YA fantasy person, but I'm choosing it. And finally, choose an extra feature. Lots of blankets, a ladder, a spiral staircase, or bookends. Okay, well, bookends, like, no. You can get those easily. A ladder. Like, I think a ladder would be really cool, although I'm really tall, so I can reach the top shelf anyways. Blankets, I would always be down for blankets. But spiral staircase, like how cool would that be to have a library with a spiral staircase? And I like spiral staircases. I've always wanted one, but like I never had a house that had a spiral staircase. I'm choosing it. <laughs> okay, so my autumn aesthetic is dark academia. Your ideal fall day would include rainy weather. That's true. I do love the rain. The smell of old books. I love smelling books. Strong coffee or tea, yeah, that's very accurate. Moody candle lighting, Marcus makes fun of me for the amount of candles I have in this house. And shopping for vintage clothes. I mean, that one, not really, because like, I barely buy clothes like regularly as is. I just wear the same stuff over and over again. But that is like pretty friggin' accurate, yeah. Well, that was cool. For the next one, I chose which new book should you read over the long weekend? And it's not even a long weekend coming up. I just wanted to see what book it gave me because, yeah, I'm just interested to see what they think I should read based on how I answer this quiz. So the first question is choose a fandom. Ooh, it's got good options. Okay, so we have Sherlock, BTS, Marvel Cinematic Universe, Supernatural, Disney, or Liverpool. <laughs> I feel like that's so random. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna choose Marvel because I'm like a huge superhero nerd. So yeah, that's that's my choice for this one. Okay, choose a destination. Mexico, New Orleans, the Hamptons, Ghana, London, or Ireland? Well, I have not been to, I've only been to London and Ireland, but I loved Ireland. Ireland was beautiful. So nice. Um, I kind of want to, yeah, I think I'm going to check Mexico, though, because that's somewhere that, like, I actually want to go visit. Like, I want to go there. So, yeah, I'm going to say Mexico. Choose a TV show. Nancy Drew. Didn't even know that was a TV show. The Witcher. It was a pretty good show. The Leftovers. Oh, The Haunting of Hill House was so creepy. If you haven't watched that show, definitely watch that show. Charmed or Insecure. I'm going to choose The Haunting of Hill House because I, oh, episode eight scared the crap out of me. <laughs> if you've watched that show, you know what part I'm talking about. I literally lifted off the couch because I was so scared. <laughs> I, it just wasn't, I wasn't expecting it. Anyways, that's what I'm choosing. Okay, choose a job. Private investigator, lawyer, occult leader, <laughs> software engineer, photographer, or line cook. Oh my god, should I choose a cult leader? That's so, <laughs> that's so ridiculous, but no, if I'm being honest, I would not choose that. Um, I'm kind of a software engineer right now, like I'm a web developer, so that's something like I already do. I think it'd be more fun to do something different. Lawyer, I'm just, I'm really bad at arguing. Like, I lose almost every argument. Even if I, like, am right in the situation, I would still end up losing the argument, so I'm not going to choose that. I'm a horrible cook, so... Private investigator or photographer? I think photographer. I think that'd be fun. I can take pictures. I can do that. Choose a book. Murder on the Orient Express, Lay on the Offbeat, The Pisces, To All the Boys I've Loved Before, The Royal We, or We Have Always Lived in the Castle. So I haven't read any of these, but I did read Love, Simon, 
And I liked that one. So, oh, but Murder on the Ori Orient Express is like a murder mystery, and that's fun. Yeah, I think out of all of these options, I would want that one, because, like, I like murder mysteries. They're a good time. All right. Choose a nemesis. The paparazzi. <laughs> a literal demon. Twitter trolls. Oh, that's scary. The popular kids. Jack the Ripper or yourself. Would I be a good nemesis to myself? That's a good question. Um, a literal demon would be a fun nemesis, though. I don't know. I'm gonna choose myself. I think that's funny. Okay, choose your ideal 4th of July plans. Taking a sound bath. What is a sound bath? Going dancing. Um, I once got kicked out of a bar for the way I was dancing, and I was sober. So, yeah, I'm a horrible dancer, guys. Take out and weed. <laughs> Catching up on work. Making art or chilling with friends. I'm going to be very basic, and I'm just going to say chilling with friends, because that's, like, honestly what I would do. You got Mexican Gothic. <laughs> so, I read this book already, and I gave it a two stars because I did not enjoy it. I thought it was not great. So, yeah, I'm not even going to read this, the answer there. I just, like, that's basically the synopsis of the book, but I did not like this book, so I don't agree with this quiz. I don't. Have any of you read Mexican Gothic, and what did you think about it? I don't know, it just, like, it wasn't for me, but I know a lot of people really liked it. So, yeah, share your opinions in the comments down below. Okay, so if you can hear, um, like, wind, it's because my computer's heating up so much, so there's a lot of noise. But anyway, so this next quiz is, it's finally time to find out if you are the main character. So I already know that I feel like I'm a side character, but let's see if this quiz tells me that I have main character energy. So the first one is, pick a movie. Twilight, Mean Girls, The Devil Wears Prada, or Lady Bird. <laughs> okay, well, I haven't seen The Devil Wears Prada. Twilight is not great. Lady Bird was not great either, so I'm going to go with Mean Girls because I actually enjoyed this movie. Pick something to eat. Fries, pasta, pancakes, or pizza. Oh, that's hard because I like all of these things a lot. But if I had to choose any of them... It would definitely be pasta. Pick your dream vacation destination. New York City, Paris, Madrid, or London. Well, I've been to Paris and I've been to London. I've never been to Madrid, but it's like it looks beautiful. And New York City also looks beautiful. Although I think that Madrid looks nicer, so I would choose Madrid. Pick a hobby. Reading books. Um, what do you think we do here? Shopping, hanging out with friends, or traveling. Yeah, I'm gonna choose reading books. Pick a main character. Blair Waldorf, Eleanor Shellstrop, Christina Yang, or Fallon Carrington. Okay, well, as soon as I saw Christina Yang, that was my choice. Pick a song. You Belong With Me by Taylor Swift, Sign of the Times by Harry Styles, Crazy in Love by Beyonce, or Levitating by Dua Lipa. I've been hearing Levitating on the radio nonstop, and I'm kind of annoyed by it now, so I'm not choosing that one. Um, I'm a Swifty, so I'm going to choose Taylor. Pick a singer. Taylor Swift, Harry Styles, Lana Del Rey, or Dua Lipa. I'm choosing Taylor. Pick a landscape. Ooh, these are all very pretty. One's a waterfall. Oh, I love in the fall when the leaves are this color. But I think I'm going to choose this one because I think that's just really pretty. Pick an outfit. Something bold, something casual, something trendy, or something comfy. I am always down for comfy. So we're going with that. And finally, pick a book. Pride and Prejudice, Wuthering Heights, After, or The Fault in Our Stars. Why is After in here as an option? I'm going to choose The Fault in Our Stars. Side character. I knew it. I knew it. You may not be the main character, but you're still super cool. You're low-key, but you're also really confident. You're supportive, and you try to make the people around you the best they can be. You're just as important as the main character because you're always right by their side. Keep being awesome. Also, this gif is from Booksmart, and if you guys have not seen that movie, you should definitely watch it because Booksmart is amazing. It's such a funny movie. 
Okay guys, for our last one, we're going to do give us your Marvel opinions, because I love Marvel, and we'll give you the perfect book recommendation. Hopefully this is better than the other one, because I really did not enjoy having Mexican Gothic, so we'll see. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Pick an origin story. So we got Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, Spider-Man, Black Panther, Ant-Man, Captain Marvel, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Doctor Strange. Uh, this is tough already, because I love, like, a lot of their origin stories. I did really like the Guardians of the Galaxy. Doctor Strange is a close second. I'm going to choose Guardians of the Galaxy, because that was just a really fun movie. Okay, pick a memorable moment. Steve discovers Bucky is the Winter Soldier. Doctor Strange comes to bargain. Killmonger in the museum. <laughs> Get help. That was that was a good one. Peter finds out that Vulture is Liz's dad. Vision casually hands Thor his hammer. Lewis tells a story. Nick Fury introduces himself to Tony Stark or Captain Marvel stands. I think the Get Help is my favorite, so I'm gonna choose that one. Pick a battle fight from a non-Avengers movie. Bridge battle from Thor Ragnarok. Okay, that was a badass scene. That was so cool. Dance battle from Guardians was really good. Killmonger and T'Challa from Black Panther. It's okay. Ooh, Black Widow in the hallway from Iron Man 2 was awesome. Cap in the elevator, though, is, like, iconic. Cap and Bucky versus Tony. That was also really good. House party protocol. Yeah, no. No. Highway scene from Winter Soldier or post-casino car chase from Black Panther. I think I'm going to choose, oh, I don't know. This is hard. The bridge battle from Thor was really cool. Yeah, I'm choosing that one. That was really awesome. Choose an upcoming show or movie that appeals to you. Falcon and Winter Soldier, currently watching it and not really impressed. Uh, Loki looks really good. Black Widow, I feel like we've been waiting for that forever and I, I still don't know when we're going to get it. Spider-Man No Way Home, hmm. Shang-Chi. Ooh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. I am, like, so excited for that. Eternals, Thor, Love and Thunder, or What If. No, I, I have to do Doctor Strange. That one looks so good. Pick a supporting character. Darcy, Jimmy, MJ, M'Baku, Louis, Korg, Talos, Monica, <gasps> Goose! Ah, oh, Goose. Wong, Valkyrie, or... Akoye, I think that's how you say that. So my toss-up is between M'Baku and Goose. I think I'm going to choose Goose, because it's Goose. Choose a team. Iron Man or Captain America? Oh, this is so hard. Because, like, I like Iron Man more than Captain America, but I like Captain America's team more than Iron Man's team. I'm just going to... I'm sorry, I'm choosing Iron Man. Pick a quote. Baskin Robbins always finds out, bro. Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast. I would catch it. I love that one. Hey, auntie. Uh, oh, we're using our made-up names. I'm Spider-Man. I understand that the council has made a decision, but given that it's a stupid-ass decision, I've elected to ignore it. Dude, you're embarrassing me in front of the wizards. <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, fellas. Either one of you know where the Smithsonian is. I'm here to pick up a fossil. Oh, I love you 3,000. I have been falling for 30 minutes. Or language. I'm going to choose Nothing Goes Over My Head. So the book is Invictus by Ryan Grodin. In this standalone novel, which feels sort of like you mash Doctor Who with Guardians of the Galaxy, far away is the son of a time traveler from 2354 CE and a gladiator from ancient Rome. He's always dreamed of being a time traveler instead, but after he... Oh a time traveler himself, but after he fails his entrance exam, he takes up a captain position on a ship that steals valuables from the past and sells them on the black market. While he's on the sinking Titanic, a mysterious girl appears and she holds secrets that can affect all of time. Okay, that sounds really cool. I'm definitely gonna be looking this up because that sounds fantastic. Anyways, that's it for my video, guys. Thanks so much for doing these book quizzes with me. This was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the answers that I got for these quizzes. I think they're, like, pretty decent. Not all of them were great, but some of them were fun. And, yeah, if you have any other book quizzes that you suggest I do, put them in the comments down below, and maybe I'll do another video where I do those quizzes that you suggest. 
And now for today's independent bookstore shout out. Okay guys, so today's independent bookstore shout out is for Huckleberry Books, which is in Cranbrook, British Columbia. Uh, I immediately love this site because the first picture I see is a cat and I love it. It's so cute. So they have an, a new release reel, they have a reading challenge reel, they have staff picks, anti-racism, they have so much on this site. What I really like is on the Who We Are page, they have more pictures of cats. So I'm excited because I feel like, oh, they have Max the cat who lives in the bookstore and this must be Max. They also do a Huckleberry reading challenge. And so for every month of the year, they have different book challenges that you can do, which is super, super cool. So yeah. And then they have a reel of like different books that fit that challenge each month on their site. So definitely go check out hucklebarybooks.ca and maybe order some books from them. And that's it for my video, guys. If you want to support me, I have a Patreon and a coffee page, which I'll put in the description down below, as well as a link to buy my bookmarks. You guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button so you get notified when I post new videos. I post my videos on Mondays and Thursdays. And until next time, keep on reading.